understand incentives. Telling someone to come on over, no strings attached, incentive. Telling them not to because you'll be sent back, disincentive. Most adults get this. Too bad Joe, into his ninth decade, hasn't. Biden now tells migrants, don't come yet. Even after his earlier wrongheaded invitations overwhelmed the border. Here's the deal. We're sending back people to, f f first of all, the idea that Joe Biden said come because uh, I, I heard the other day that they're, they're coming because they know I'm a nice guy and I want to see this. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. They're not. I can say quite clearly, don't come over in the process of getting set up. Don't leave your town or city. So wait, you didn't encourage migrants to come over. And then in the very same breath, you say, don't come yet because we're not ready. Like America's a rock concert and the doors don't open till nine. He literally just did what he denied. Too bad there's no tape of him saying you shouldn't come. Oh, wait. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. We could afford to take in a heartbeat another two million people. I would also move to increase the total number of immigrants able to come to the United States. Of course, this is easy to say if you pretend they're all fleeing oppression. And once you factor other variables, the effect on minorities in the job market, the disregard for those who legally came here, the impact on a country in medical crisis, the moral importance of process, you see the idiocy. Their feeble defense pointing to previous surges under Trump. A lot of the migrants coming in saying they're coming in because you promised to make things better. It seems to be getting worse by the day was it a mistake not to anticipate this surge well first of all there was a surge in the last two years and and 19 and 20 there was a surge as well this one might be worse no well it could be and those surges they weren't egged on by trump remember will continue to be a place of refuge a place that immigrants can come to and where they can feel safe I want to be clear, we're going to stay a sanctuary city. I can't say it any more clearly uh, of what it means to for um, for Washington, D.C. to be a sanctuary city. And will continue to be a sanctuary city. You see, it's the Dems who promised a safe haven in order to handicap Trump's immigration plan. The promises were amplified by a sympathetic media as those who disagreed were deemed xenophobic. Again, there's the incentive. But it was Trump's blunt honesty in action that stopped the flow. The Dems called his common sense system inhumane, yet they do worse. Their soft words luring criminals and helpless kids over. They created this crisis every single time. And to deny that denies facts. But hey, if the Dems stopped denying facts, they get no more friendly press. And that's their incentive against truth.